Did I win the NHL 24 European Championship? Let's get straight into it. The eight remaining players in the competition flew to Denmark for the European Championships. Two players make the world finals in New York. So that's the main goal. Two players make the world finals. And the winner of the tournament gets $15,000. Let's start going through the games. So we were split into two groups of four players each and two players from each group qualifies to the semifinals. Simple as that. You play one game against everybody in your group and two best players go through. The group stage games for some reason weren't on broadcast, but they gave me the permission to record this. So here we go. My first game in the tournament against Tim Panin coming in one of the favorites in the tournament, but I got off to a fantastic start. Won the first game 5-1. I'm sorry, I couldn't get the start of this game recorded, but you didn't really miss anything. I got off to a hot start, got off to a 5-0 lead, and it was just smooth sailing from there on. So a fantastic start for me. My second game in the groups is against Temu Yu. This is the second time he's made the European top 8, but obviously I'm a massive favorite here. I also had a great record against him in practice games, so I was confident coming in, and I got off to an amazing start. Nathan McKinnon, my best player, straight off the gate gets me the first goal of the game. Later in the period, he's cutting to the slot with Nylander and burying it. Um, top corner. That's a good scoring chance. Yeah, but I was surprised Demko didn't save that because he has that gold light work ability. And in my practice games, he's been making those saves. I didn't let that bother me though. In the next attack, Bo Horvat, my second line is unbelievable. I really like my second line throughout the tournament. And literally from the next attack, I find Slavin, shoot it wide, but I get the bounce back door, his goal is down, and I just have an easy job of scoring the goal with Tachak. And at the end of the period, Nathan McKinnon turning on the Jets. No one can catch him. That McKinnon card is completely dominant in this format. I get a lucky bounce uh, to finish it off. Anyway, that was all McKinnon and a fantastic start for me. By the way, if you're interested in how we chose our teams, the custom cards EA gave us and how we drafted our teams, check out this video. Going into the second period, I kinda let my foot off the gas just a little bit. Temu scored two goals back to back and I just had to take a timeout here, kinda relax. If I would lose this game, my back would be against the wall, so yeah, that's not something I want. You basically need to win two of the three games in the groups to go through. I bounced back fantastically though. My second line again, Lafanier back door. Them had a bit of troubles uh, defending the back post and I really capitalized on that. In the third period, Temu did get some chances to maybe get the game within one, but he couldn't capitalize. I played pretty solid defense, tried to keep the puck as much as I can. And I ended up winning Temu 5-3 and I was in a fantastic spot heading into the final group stage game. In the final game, I'm playing Kibex. I did practice a lot going into the tournament against Kibex. I did win most of the games, but we had plenty of close ones. I think he's a really skilled guy offensively and it showed in our group stage game. I was really focused to start the game though. I scored three goals in the first 10 minutes. It's, again, as you see, my second line is scoring most of my goals. Like, this line of Stone, Horvat and Lafanier is doing absolute wonders for me. I slowed down a bit after being up 3 though. Gibex really started cooking. <laughs> There's 13 minutes remaining. I'm trying to break out the puck, but a horrendous giveaway. Gibex is on a breakaway. But I did come up clutch with the manual goalie. Like I said, I had played Kibex a lot in screams and I did know this. Almost his every breakaway went to the backhand. So I did remember that. Closing in at the end of the game, Kibex is still putting pressure on. There's 10 seconds remaining. Kibex enters the zone. Can he tie the game? No, what a say by Demko. Gold light work, baby. <laughs> and I end up winning my group and going into the semifinals. So here's the results of our group. I went through as the number one seed, won every game. Tempanen only lost to me. He won Gibex and Temu, so he's the second player going through. In the second group, Nicky Dangles won all of his games and Iken went 2 on 1. So this means I'm playing against Iken in the semi finals of the European Championships. Massive stakes on the line. Winner of the series qualifies to the world finals in New York 
next month. The semifinals and finals are best of three series. I had an interview leading up to the series where they tried to get me a bit emotional, showing me some of my best moments in the world championships, and giving me this uh, baby shirt. As you might know, my girlfriend is pregnant, so yeah, it was kind of hard to focus, uh, <laughs> focus to the semis after this. It actually did get my mind a bit off the game, so honestly, it might have been a positive thing. Let's start the series. Me against Iken, winner goes to the world final. So I actually have a lot of history playing Iken. I've played him two times in the European Championship semi-finals in NHL 22 and 21. I won both of those series, but that was around the time of COVID. There was no world finals, a bigger stakes on the line right now. I start the series of hot with my first line. As Kachako cut into the middle, Eki's with it now on the right side, sends it to Trocek and he scores on the backhand. And just like that, Eki goes up 1-0. I've kind of stood in Eken's way for years in this tournament. I know he wants some revenge. I know he wants this win, but of course, I wanted to. I get the puck to Wemberg, fire it across, and Kraus gets me the 2-0 lead. I'm off to a hot start in this first game. <sighs> Even after the second goal, I'm creating a lot of offense. Maybe I'm not making the best plays. I feel like I could be scoring more here. And at the start of the second period, he can get his game going. Caulfield, now to Kucherov, quick puck movement, hints for the shot. Looking for a rebound, he scores! An ugly one, but it counts. No shot there, as he might have had a backhand attempt. Hits waiting. Now he shoots and scores, makes it 2-2. Just like that, the game is 2-2. I was a bit frustrated here. I got off to an awesome start, had chances to score the third goal, couldn't capitalize, and all of a sudden, Iken is on fire. Iken was actually struggling quite a bit in the practice games leading up to the tournament. That's what I heard. But when it mattered in the semi-final, I felt like he was playing unbelievable. Late in the second period, I take a penalty. Iken has the momentum. I have my fourth line killing the penalty. <laughs> Jack Drury! Oh my god, what a goal. Got to say, I did an awesome job in my team draft. I even loved my bottom lines. These players you don't expect. Jack Drury, <laughs> my third line, fourth line. These guys were stepping up for me. Seven minutes to go in the third period. My fourth line is on the ice again. McEven can't finish. Then McKinnon hops onto the ice. I get a breakaway. There to get McKinnon on the ice and he's tripped up. And we're gonna get a penalty shot. It's time for a penalty shot. And the director doesn't show you the penalty shot. <laughs> what? Come on, NHL. What, what is this? I didn't score on the penalty shot. I tried to go backhand, but he can read it with a pad stack. McKinnon couldn't clutch up for me, but my best defenseman could. Slavin now walks in. Nice little give and go, and he scores. Penalty shot doesn't work, but Slavin will bury that one on the forehand. And he's got his two goal lead. I get the game one win and I don't have to say to you how important winning game one is in a best of three series. Start of game two. And I want to win the series now. I don't want the game three. I want to go to the world finals. But Eken had other ideas. At the goal line and a great start offensively for Eken. But he's looking for a goal and he gets an unbelievable one on the biggest stage. The behind the back tapping. And Eki's stunned. I don't know what to say. That's the best goal I've ever seen in the World Championships. The stage we're playing in, the importance of these games, how do you even go for that goal? And it's not like he had so much space behind the net either. Like, I could do nothing else than just laugh. And I said to Iken in the moment that re respect. That was unbelievable. Bit over six minutes to go in the first. My fourth line is on the ice again. Creating scoring chances. Drury this time can't finish it. Straight to the second. I'm cycling behind the net. Nice play to throw check. And I can't capitalize. But when in doubt, simple hockey. Pucks to the net. No one's in front. Waits for a screen maybe. Slavin now. He looks for the tip. And Stone is going to tie things up. Huge goal to tie it up. I really want to get the lead here though. Both me and Eken are really good at keeping the puck position. Lead is everything in this series. Eken gets a really, really nice give and go. Caulfield walks in on the backhand and a beauty goal there to retake the lead. After Eken's second goal, I turn on the heat though. Like I said, I don't want to see a game three. I want to end the series now. But Eken Svasilevski turned into a brick wall. 15 minutes to go in the game. My second line is on the rush. I lose the puck on the zone entry, though, and Eken is coming down on the counterattack. Forsberg now to Keller. Hits Forsberg 2 on 1. Sends it across, and he scores. 
Hints with another one. I'm down 3-1. It looks like Iken is going to force a game 3, but it's still not over. Still plenty of time. I have created okay looks throughout the game. Just haven't capitalized Demko keeping me in the game. Code Lightwork can save guaranteed goals on the slot like that. McKinnon has been really quiet throughout the semi-final, but a fantastic give and go with throw check. And I get the game back with it. One, Iken is under pressure again. Demko with another save from the slot. He's really giving me a chance here. And I go all out in the end of game two. But is it enough? All the way around now on the right side. McKinnon's got the got a goal for Eki. Looking for a second. Now can chuck to Bouchard at the point. No shot in front. Now can chuck after it. In all alone in the backhand and he can't get it to go. Bouchard's got it at the point. Was that a pass off to himself? Trocek now just misses that one. Stone over to Lafreniere. Back to Stone. They give and go. Horvat on the backhand. Lafreniere can't score either. Five seconds remaining. And somehow Ekin's going to hold on and force a game three with a big 3 2 win. He can win game two. This is it. Deciding game three. Winner goes to the world finals. Can I play my best with everything on the line? knowing that Ekin can possess the puck against him. Absolutely. Uh, Trocek sends it to McKinnon, and he buries that one and makes it one nothing early on. Harley now to Savard, walks in from the point. To Kachuk, pass across to McKinnon, and his second of the game, and it's 2 nothing. Atkinson across the line, still has it. One hand tuck, and he scores! And he makes it 3 nothing in the first period. I'm absolutely cooking here, as they say in the final game. I score my fourth goal, up 4-0. I get the 5-0 goal in the second. And yeah, it's game over. I run away with the game three victory. And I end up winning 8 Zero. Good games to Iken, especially the first two games were really even. He scored the best goal that I've ever seen in this stage. Respect to Iken. This one's done. We'll be back next year. We'll be back. <laughs> in the final, I'm playing Tempanen. This is the exact same final as last year's European final. That time I won in game three overtime. Can I win the European Championship for the fourth straight? Time. So what's on the line? Both of us already qualified to the world finals. But winner wins $15,000, second place $4,000. So the winner of both regions automatically qualified to the semifinals. And the remaining four players play a round robin. Another group stage for the final two spots. So massive stakes still in the final here. Tempanen starts off hot. Shabbat now over to Ovechkin. Now to Olofsson across the line. He beats McKinnon all the way around. Back to Ovechkin and he scores. And just like that, Tempanen is going to take a 1-0 lead in the final. After Tempanen's first goal, though, I absolutely started to dominate. I'm creating chances all over the place. But I can't solve his Ulmark. Now McKinnon. Back and forth he goes. Penalty's over, but McKinnon still got it. Sends it across and that one misses everybody. Kachuk will miss that one. Trocek with it, fires it upstairs. Be careful, McKinnon was in all alone. Under 10 seconds to go, McKinnon tries to get out in front. on the backhand, it goes through Allmark and he turns around, stops it on the goal line. Late in the second period, my third line shows up. Lawson Gross with two goals to get me the lead. Defensively, but now Wenberg is, he's gonna get one immediately, sends it over to Kroos, gets his second. After I got the lead in game one, I ran away with the series. I dominated rest of game one. On the breakout, sends that one to Slavin, over to McKinnon. McKinnon's got it, sends that one across to Kachuk. Sorry, Trocek. And I dominated game two. It is a title game. Tempenin wins this one, we're going to a third. Eki wins this one. He's the 2024 European champion. Wenberg now with it, looking to clear the neutral zone, finding Sandine. Up to McKinnon. McKinnon with the speed threat. Trocek passes Kachuk. He scores! Now McKinnon to Kachuk. Kachuk's got it across to Harley. Sends it across to Kachuk and a nice passing play there. And Lafreniere now pressured. Walks out into the middle, pass across, and he scores! Slavin! And again, you see that last goal just led to the frustration of not being able to get the puck back as Mackey just really making sure that he doesn't lose possession. As Horvat is going to score on the forehand! And when the lights are as bright as this, who better than Eki, who once again finds a way to convert chance after chance 
They're gonna play again in the World Championship, but for the sixth time, your 2024 NHL European Champion is Aki. I won the NHL 24 European Championship for the sixth time. It's getting a bit ridiculous, even, even for myself. I really, <laughs> all of this really seems like a dream. I work hard every single year and for it to be rewarded year after year, the feeling is indescribable. Next up is the World Finals. This year, something feels different. I feel like I'm absolutely on fire. I'm leaving to New York in a couple weeks. Job is not finished. <laughs>